Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly reading for August 6th through the 12th. This is for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now, typically my readings are love readings, so we are just going to see whatever comes up. Um, if it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't. This will not resonate with every single Pisces out there. August 6th through the 12th, but then again, the timing is fluid, so this could have happened, could be happening now, or could be happening in the future. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Follow your intuition. That's what this card says. Make the effort that the heart wants you to make. Get these cards out of the way. Something may not be coming together as easily as you'd hoped. There's some kind of obstacle. I'm not sure what it is. Let's see whatever comes up for Pisces. I, you know, I just lotioned up so my so my hands are a little slippery. That could be a problem. You guys may be persevering in some arena, you know, you're determined. You're determined to do something. Ah, so that devil card, that is temptation, that's lust, that's addictions, obsessions, manipulation, lies. This is a message, this is taking action, investment, patience. You may have been waiting for the right moment to do something. Hmm. Yeah, you guys are getting unstuck or needing to get unstuck. This is, represents you. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You guys are, you may be, I mean, maybe you've stalled for too long. I don't know. Sacrificing your, sacrificing. Maybe you're making a really big sacrifice. Could be escaping. But there is some sort of enlightenment here. It looks like you have been enlightened in some way. Ah. Ooh. You know, you could be dealing with some bad karma. Bad juju. Okay. With with the uh, with the wheel of fortune reversed. This is bad karma, and this is a card of karma as well. So, this is a midlife crisis. There, somebody could be going through some sort of... Whew, feeling alone, loneliness. There is an obsession here. So, somebody has an obsession, and they're sacrificing something. An opportunity. This is a missed opportunity in love. Not seeing the true love. Not seeing the opportunity. Focusing on the hurt. Focusing on the loss. Not even seeing it. Obsessed. Stubborn. Stubborn. Interesting. You know, this hangman reversed. That, that does represent the sign of Pisces. This is fear of sacrifice. You're letting your fears and you're trying to escape something. Even though you may want another chance. You want another chance. But you're being really stubborn and not making an offer. And not accepting an offer. Now somebody could be offering you something and you're not accepting it. Either way, the Wheel of Fortune is bad luck. 
bad luck. Now, this is like the universe wants something to happen, but you're not allowing it. That's what this is. And when you go against the wheel of fate, bad shit happens. That's what it is. Anyway, there's you could be dealing with an, uh, any sign, really, but this is an air sign that is hurting you. This is a, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person only cares about themselves. Only cares about themselves. Puts themselves first in every situation, no matter what it is. Maybe you have invested some time in this person. Could be any person. Somebody that doesn't see things the same way that you do. And maybe you don't, maybe, you know, you, you're you getting bored with this. There's discontent either way. Discontent with you dealing with somebody that's going nowhere. There's no forward movement. The wheel ain't spinning in a positive direction. It's not. So I'm not sure what the hell this is. But um, let me just turn my phone off. Otherwise, it's going to go off the whole time. So hold on. Let me just uh, fix this up. Um... So other people see that you're stuck. This is how other people see you. Other people say, see that you're in limbo and that you're sacrificing your happiness, whatever that means. That's how other people see you, sacrificing your own happiness. Stubborn. <laughs> your challenge is this situation right here. It could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It could be any sign, but your challenge is a person that is controlling, manipulative, a liar. Only cares about themselves. Selfish. Heartache. Hurt. Suffering. Extreme highs and lows. Ups and downs. Ups and downs. Extremes. Escapism. There's... there's come on now. Those are both esca escapism. Uh, seriously. Addictions. There's addictions here. Somebody is masking their truth or their hurt with addictions. Lies. Lying to themselves. I'm sorry, you guys. I really am. Now, either it's you or the person that you're dealing with in this situation. I feel like, you know, this is right here is a test. The Knight of Pentacles is a test. You are being tested. I think you're being tested by a karmic situation. Yeah, you're going to have to walk away from something. Something that's only hurting you. This is somebody that's hurting you. This is hurting you. You're going to have to walk away from something that's hurting you. There's no balance. There's no harmony. There's no peace there. There's no balance, harmony, and peace in this situation. This means that you have to walk away. This is walking away from it. You're dealing with this person, whether it's a guy or a girl is very, very harsh, selfish. In any situation, this person is only thinking about how it is going to benefit them. And I think that you've put in some effort in making something work, and now it hurts that it's not working, and you may try to be pretend, because this is pretending through escapism that this, is, this will work. I mean, this is an illusion. This is an illusion. You have options. You do have options. This is a card also of consequences, the Seven of Cups. There's consequences for the decisions that you make, for the choices that you make. What do you choose? You have to make a choice. And right now, I think you're really confused about the choice that you have to make. You're going to have to step outside of your comfort zone. This is lies and obstacles in reverse. Somebody is needing to step outside of their comfort zone and... and, and Accept the truth. Swords are thoughts. Somebody is mentally trapped. There's a lot of, this is like a <coughs> up and down roller coaster ride. You know, I feel like 
there is a lot of power struggles here. It's almost like you're playing a game with maybe maybe a few people. Maybe there's more than one people involved, more than one person involved. There's like some games that are being play, played. You may have some competition. You know, maybe you're dealing with a person that has multiple players. I mean, come on now. But you may be lying to yourself about it. This is an illusion. There's options. I think there's a there's somebody in this dynamic, whether it's you or the other person that you're that you're dealing with, has multiple options. Players in the mix. Yeah, I feel like I mean you could be dealing with a Leo as well, but there's a lack of restraint here. Whoever you're dealing with, they may not be able to restrain themselves from playing. This is a game. I'm not sure if it's you or the other person, but this is weakness, cowardly. Now this is love, right? That's the two of cups. There's a partnership here that you may be deciding you'd rather not be in. You might want rather be in. This is the independent. This is alone. This is Okay, so here we have a union, here we have a loan. And this is, this is the Seven of Cups making a decision. What do you want? Do you want a fake? Because this son of a bitch is fake. A fake partnership? Or would you rather be alone and be abundant and be stable and be secure and be, you know, enjoying life, enjoying the finer things in life without the stress? This person, what, you're dealing with a situation that is causing you stress. I think that you know something is up and something truly is up for those of you that are in a relationship. For those of you that are single, somebody could be watching you and waiting for you to put in effort. But then again, there's still bad karma here. The, with the Justice card, Justice is karma. It's a card of karma. Everybody knows it. In the Wheel of Fortune, that's a card of karma too. They're both reversed. There's negative karma here. There's bad karma here. And I, it has to do with some sort of conflict from the past. Now, I feel like there is some sort of stalking behavior, whether it's you or another person. Somebody's watching you like a hawk. Or you're watching them like a hawk. Could be a potential love prospect. But I feel like there's definitely some injustice here. Somebody doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions. But karma never misses an address. Ever. So whoever has done another person wrong and, and acted cowardly. Payback is a bitch. I feel like... You know, you you may want to turn your back on someone. This is turning your back, focusing on the future, being patient, waiting for your right ship to come in, P working on your job, working on your work, working on your money, working on your business affairs. You may decide to cut somebody out of your life that you're in a partnership with because you'd be better off alone. This is better off alone. I think you're dealing, again, of an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Leo. We have Libra a few times. We have all the signs here. It doesn't matter. We have all the signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. doesn't really matter. Anyway, there's an opportunity for victory and success on your own. Okay, putting it, being patient. Turning your back on a situation that is less than fulfilling to you. So that you can start a new chapter, a new life, a new project. So this is, this could be working. Maybe you're deciding that you want to travel more or put effort into um, expanding yourself. I feel like there's an opportunity for a new beginning here in a whole different arena, whether it's relationship or job or moving or whatever. But I feel wherever you're at right now and whatever aspect this is, there's a lot of discontent and unhappiness. You may be trying to ignore it and, and cover it up with some sort of addiction, but that only lasts for a little while. Or bring with the with the Justice card and the Wheel of Fortune card. Those are both cards of karma. And if you don't do the right thing, you know, if you don't do the right thing, you will get bad karma. You will get bad luck, bad luck. And if you don't believe in bad karma, keep doing what you're doing. 
Okay. I think that you may be involved in a third party situation. There's no real, uh, relationship growth here. Maybe somebody sold you the Golden Gate Bridge and the Golden Gate Bridge really wasn't for sale. You know, they're, they're full of shit. Somebody came to sweep you off their feet and they had no follow through. And maybe they had somebody else that they were already connected to. They were already in a partnership. I feel like you may, you have to make a decision whether you want to, whether you want to go or do you want to stay? What do you want to do? The world is in your hands. You know, you, you have an op, there's seven point whatever billion people in the world. World, world. You know, I feel like you are in a situation that you are not compatible with and there's an there's another opportunity waiting for you to turn your back on this situation in which you're in denial about whatever it is. I don't know. I feel that's if you're in a relationship right now. If you're single, a new door could be opening. This is a new door opening. For those of you that are coupled or 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 single, there's a new door opening. All you have to do is walk through it. But if you choose to deny it with, and bury it with lies and addictions, then you won't even see the door. You won't see the door. So we have, an, we have, a, we have to make a decision here. Do you want growth or do you want discontent? What is it? What do you want here? What do you want? I think some of you could be involved in a third party situation. Maybe, you know, hmm. Yeah, this is a dead end. You may be involved in a dead end situation. Maybe you need to take a break from dating or take a break from whatever the situation is that's causing so much uh, boredom, unhappiness, and just be single for a little while. Maybe it's just like, you know, I want to I work on my job. I want to work on my career. I want to work on my business. I want to work on me. I want to start enjoying life without this bullshit. Because you are dealing with some sneaky, shady behavior and you know it. I know that you know it. Somebody's cheating. This is the cheater card. Cheat, cheat, never beat. Always gets caught. You will always get caught. I'm not saying it's you. Could be the person you're dealing with. Might not get caught for a few years, but the truth will always come out. In the future, there will be happiness. But there's going to be a rude awakening before you find that happiness. This is your rude awakening. Break down. So I feel as though there is going to be some sort of uproar that in the end makes you happier than you are right now which is hard to fathom right I think that this is a blessing in disguise coming into your life it's going to make you very happy you know there's gonna be a shake up a breakdown a fated event that removes something from your life that has been holding you back from happiness and something is going to die. This is, I mean, come on, he's on a coffin. Something is going to end so that you can be abundant again. And you have a new partner. You have an option in love. This is an a unexpected choice in love that comes your way after this breakup. This is a breakup, whatever it is. This event. There's an, and so if you are single and you've already had this breakup and you're feeling really good about life, there's an opportunity for love with somebody that is not your usual type, somebody that it's a soulmate connection. But if you are in a, in a situation now where you are seeing somebody, you're connected to somebody, I think that that needs to break down before you can meet this one or be with this one. This is somebody new. So if you are still holding on mentally to somebody from the past, then that needs to break up. It needs to break down. It needs to break down. Somebody's not doing the right thing, holding on to something that doesn't serve them. There's a lack of integrity here.
but there's an opportunity for new love. So, Pisces, I think that you do have an opportunity for love here that's being handed to you after this rude awakening happens and, and you get back to your happiness. But there is a there's a shakeup wherever you're at right now. This is like moving moving home or a change in your home or this is a breakup of a relationship. So I don't know if this has already happened for you or it's happening now or it's going to happen, but this is a relationship breaking up because there's been too many feuds, there's been too many arguments. And then new love comes in within a year. You've been some of your like a year. Hell no. Well, you know, it takes that long time. It takes time to get back to who you are. To get back to happiness. If you guys have already taken that time, you've been single for a year and you ain't been playing games with anybody, this new opportunity is here. This can even be a reconciliation. Okay? That, the Ace of Cups can be new love or a reconciliation. With a soulmate. Now, could be a new soulmate. For those of you that are ready, there's an opportunity for new love. For those of you that are in a situation where there's shady shit going on, you gotta, it's going to break apart. It's going to fall apart so that you can be happy again, so that you can go through this rebirth. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Follow your heart. You know, if in the, and great love is the Ace of Cups. If you are in a situation that is not great love, I suggest you get the hell out of it, okay? Because if you don't, the universe gonna going to cause a huge, huge explosion. You might as well just do it yourself. Anyway, um, great love is worth taking. The steps you are guided to take. If you are in a situation that makes you feel less than cozy, less than loved, if you feel like something is up, Something probably is. If you are single and loving it, and loving it, there's an opportunity for new love. There is. With the Ace of Cups and the Lover's card, there is. If you're ready, if you're open for it, if you've told the universe you're still clung to somebody, then you ain't ready. Focus on the light, not the darkness. 37 converts to a 10. 10 converts to a 1. This is 10s are completions. 1s are about manifestation. 1s are also about independence. Independence. So I feel like some of you may want to get... This is, a, this is the card of independence right here. Right here. That's the single person taking care of business on their own. So, you know, I don't know if that's what you want. But I think that some of you are involved in a shady situation in which the wool is being pulled right over your eyes. And for you cross watchers who want to point the finger at Pisces, don't bother. This reading is for Pisces, okay? Focus on the light. A tremendous force of light is gathering around you is attracted to the purity of your intention to create from the heart. As your intention grows, so does the light. As the light grows, so does the intention. Magic wants to happen for you now. The synchronicity, perfect timing, opportunities and information that are needed will seem to be drawn right to your door. You may start to feel as if you cannot walk outside without stumbling into something helpful, wonderful, and inspiring. This says pay attention to the synchronicities. There's no such thing as coincidence at this time. You might be startled at the interplay of light with your, with your heart evokes many successes and attracts an abundance of opportunities your way. You may need to adjust as the field of light grows stronger and its effect becomes more palpable. It may, rather, it may bring rather dramatic improvements into your world. You may be uncomfortable or feel out of your depth with these changes. This would be understandable. But it would be a shame for you to hold on to that resistance for anything more than a brief moment. Any resistance or fear will inhibit, it, inhibit the continuing free flow of the light. 
so that it can manifest its beauty through you in the physical world where it is needed. It is best to stay focused on your pure heart and intentions. Just allow, allow all else to happen of its own accord without making it mean anything too personal. Simply let it be the workings of, great, of the great light of love flowing through a pure heart and touching the world. Even if the light that is drawn to you and flows through you has some dazzling effects, you don't have to get caught up in it. Doing so might start you worrying that you are unworthy or that you are unable to keep up. This worry will constrict possibilities rather than allowing the free flow of light. You have permission simply to be appreciative of the light and to enjoy it as you continue to focus on what really matters. The pure intention of your heart and your desire to create. Act from the heart. That's what this says. This oracle brings an assurance of success of the highest order, not just commercially, but from the heart. It will manifest as the highly valuable offering to the world. This applies to a project, endeavor, endeavor or organization in which you are involved. Your heart will help you realize which groups or projects it applies to. It could be more than one. However, you must stay focused. Enjoy the glittering lights of success, but don't be distracted by them. Follow your heart. <coughs> Whatever. You know, I feel as though the reason we have the, this, you know, the devil with the Wheel of Fortune reverse, the karma... The negative karma, the bad luck, the, the tower moments, the upheavals in your life is because you're not following your heart. I don't know what that means. Um, great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Make the effort that your heart wants you to take. I feel as though right now you're dealing with a deceptive situation and the truth is probably going to come out if it hasn't came out already. Okay, there's some sort of lying, shady, sneaky shit going on. And I feel like you may decide, you know, I'm better off. I'm better off on my own. I don't know. Or this isn't where my heart is. I don't know what it is. But I feel as though, you know, you need to focus on the good things. Whatever this thing is that you are worried about, you know what it is. You need to just let it drop. Let it drop. Let it drop. Let it, let it flow right out of your life. Okay? Because there's a better opportunity waiting for you with somebody that you know, is made for you with that lover's card. That's, a, that's like a soulmate union. But that's in the future. Okay, it's in the future. It's not right now. You're, you're mixed up with the wrong situation right now. And I don't know who it is, what it is, but you're, I, that's what I see. So I think in the future, there's an opportunity for somebody that is not, you could be a reconciliation. I don't know. I don't know. But there's a rebirth here, a renewal of your soul. Okay, a lot of light. It's like you guys go through some sort of enlightenment that brings you what you deserve, that brings you true love. So I feel like this is a week where if, you know, if you're single and you're at this point where you're abundant, you're enjoying the finer things in life, it could come right in. It could be here. Okay. If you are messing around with somebody right now, you're with somebody, there could be some problems. That's what I see. Perhaps you want out. I don't know. All I know is that love is around the corner. Talk to you later.